Hi there, friends. It's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we're making high top sneakers that you can use for gnomes or dolls. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. It helps me out so much. Speaking of so much, I have so many boots and shoes and sneakers and booties and clogs. I have so many shoes coming and even these cute little bunny slippers. You can get all of these in the gnome shoe patterns on my website. I'll leave a link below. So we're going to start out with some craft foam. It's bendy felt. We're going to need medicine bottles of any kind. You can use just any kind of craft bottle, some thread, needle, and foam core, which is the thicker piece. And then we have 10 patterns in this and we're going to use the high top sneakers. So the first thing is we just trace our base pattern into that foam core using an X-Acto knife to cut it out. You can use scissors. It's just not as clean of a cut. Here is where I just used a little piece of sandpaper I had laying around in the shop and I just sanded down all of the edges. I mean, I, I mostly did. It's not exact as you can see. So I'm going to use any little bottle and a cap. So there's two pieces. We're going to use both of them and I'm going to, well, here you go. This is it. I'm going to glue these down to the base. So we're going to line up the back of the bottle with of the bottom with the back of the base. And then we're going to glue the front. You gonna guessed it right to the front. That's it. <laughs> Not too difficult, right? And you're just gonna press them down or let them sit until they are dry. Now, once they are dry, we are going to cut off these little thingies. I don't know what they're called, but they come off with scissors, so yay. And then we're going to finish up cutting all the pieces of our patterns. Um, here you can see this is the tongue piece, and I'm going to trim it down later. This is 100% prepare, you know, like whatever you want to prepare. This is a sock piece. It is going to go on the top, covering the bottle. Now, the pattern makes it easy. I worked on real hard on this pattern, so I would appreciate any support you guys can give me. And yeah, that's a shameless plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building the shoe. Now we're just going to put on the tongues and you have that little piece that is going to loop over or kind of fall over. And we're just going to repeat that for the other shoe. So you can kind of see it now. I pulled it down. See? Okay. So then you're going to take another pattern piece and you're going to wrap that around the shoe shaft. And you see, it's not going to cover everything on the front because we have a different piece for that. But you can see here, we're just going to glue it down all the way from, there you go, all the way down to that base piece. Now I chose to sort of bend mine down a little bit like a real converse after you wear them a while. And then we just put this all the way around, squeeze the tongue, and then we set that aside and do the other shoe. These are not that hard to create. Um, actually, they're really easy. Uh, so here's the last little piece here. Again, this took me a long time to perfect for these guys. So the cut matters. <laughs> so the pattern actually makes, the pattern is what makes these shoes easy. That's so, you just glue down all of these tabs. I kind of messed that up. You can press it out a little bit. Um, we're just going to repeat that on the other side. And we're going to add a piece of foam edge banding. And you can choose to use the sticky stuff or just hot glue it on your own. But you can see here, you line it up and then it perfectly covers up that bottom of the shoe. And if you want, you can add a black line edge with a pen. Um, on the very bottom. So you can see I've done that there. Okay, so now you're gonna lace your high tops, oh, that way, and you're gonna use one piece of thread and go one way and then you'll do the opposite with the other and then you can just tie them off. Super cute. And so when you tie them, be sure not to grab them too tight because they kind of look better when they're a little loose. And then once you have that, you can just tie them in a knot, you know, tie like you tie your own shoes right? Oh, here's where the part where you can cut off. Um, I cut it off so it still had a bit of a lip. Again, this is personal preference. So there you go. You see, now you just pull it down all the way and it looks cool. Okay. So you just tie it off, double knot it. You can add a little piece of hot glue, uh, right in the center of the laces. If you have small children, I'm just saying, ask me how I know. And you repeat it for the other shoe there. These are load bearing. So you can put rocks in them and load everybody down for a standing gnome. So what do you think? Get the pattern below. Let me know if you're going to make them. And thank you so much for being here. 